we are going to discuss causes of pain in the left upper part of the abdomen. When we refer to the upper left quadrant, we mean the area just below the left ribcage. This area contains several important organs, the spleen, part of the stomach, the tail of the pancreas, part of the large intestine and the left kidney. The first and most common cause of pain in the left upper abdomen is gastritis or a gastric ulcer. Because the stomach is located more toward the left side of the abdomen, pain from stomach issues often appears in this region. In gastritis, common symptoms include a burning or gnawing sensation in the middle or left side of the abdomen. The pain typically worsens when the stomach is empty or when eating acidic foods. People with gastritis often feel full, quickly experience bloating after eating and may have a loss of appetite. Belching, indigestion, nausea and sometimes vomiting are also common. In contrast, a gastric ulcer often presents with a sharper burning pain or a deep aching sensation. This pain worsens after eating, unlike a duodenal ulcer which tends to improve with food and different from gastritis where pain often varies with food types. For example, spicy and acidic foods can irritate gastritis, while foods like oatmeal, bananas, rice and boiled potatoes may help soothe the symptoms. To diagnose both gastritis and gastric ulcers, an esophagogastroduodenoscopy, also known as upper endoscopy, is the gold standard. The first line treatment includes proton pump inhibitors like omeprazole and lansoprazole along with helicobacter pylori eradication. Eating spicy, acidic, fatty and fried foods, as well as alcohol and caffeine, is crucial since these can worsen symptoms. On the other hand, soothing foods like oatmeal, rice, bananas and non-citrus fruits can help reduce inflammation. Although less common, gas and bloating can cause pain in the left upper abdomen due to the bend in the colon near the spleen though this is not a typical location for gas-related discomfort. Another common cause is pancreatitis, especially when there is inflammation in the tail of the pancreas. Pancreatic pain is often severe and may radiate to the back, presenting as a dull, boring pain in the left abdomen. Common symptoms include nausea, vomiting, fever, and sometimes an increased heart rate in acute cases. Abdominal distension and, in some cases, jaundice yellowing of the skin are possible. To diagnose pancreatitis, a contrast enhanced computer tomography scan is the preferred method as it helps assess the degree of inflammation and possible pancreatic necrosis. Blood tests often show elevated serum amylase and lipase levels, usually three times higher than normal. Treatment for pancreatitis requires hospital care, including rest, fasting, intravenous fluids, and pain management through intravenous analgesics. Splenic infarction is the third most common cause of pain in the upper left abdomen. A splenic infarction is a localized area of tissue death in the spleen due to reduced blood flow. It is typically caused by thrombosis, embolism or vascular compromise. In general, splenic infarctions are not immediately life-threatening and may resolve with conservative management. However, complications such as splenic rupture abscess formation or sepsis can increase the risk of death, particularly in patients who are immunocompromised or have extensive infarction. It is uh, more common in people at risk of blood clots, such as those with atrial fibrillation, infective endocarditis or, or certain rare syndromes. In rare cases, trauma can lead to infarction. Splenic infarction occurs more frequently in middle-aged to older adults with a higher prevalence in men. Often, the affected person has a history of cardiovascular disease. Pain from splenic infarction is sudden and sharp in the upper left quadrant and can radiate to the left shoulder. Fever, vomiting, nausea, and splenomegaly large spleen are common, especially in cases of extensive infarction. Pain worsens with deep breathing or movement. The preferred diagnostic tool is a contrast-enhanced computer tomography scan. Treatment typically includes pain control, hydration, and supportive care. In cases of thrombosis, anticoagulation can help prevent further infarctions. The fourth most common cause of pain in the upper left abdomen is a splenic abscess. Although generally rare, a splenic abscess is more likely in immunocompromised patients, especially in cases of endocarditis or septicemia. Patients with AIDS, diabetes or prolonged corticosteroid use are at a higher risk. 
Symptoms include fever, chills, and weight loss. The pain is usually sharp in the upper left quadrant, worsening with movement and deep breathing. Pain is often resistant to typical pain relief. Treatment for splenic abscess involves drainage and antibiotics, typically starting with a broad spectrum regimen and then adjusting based on culture results. The fifth cause is a splenic rupture, which is usually related to trauma and is less common in non-traumatic situations. Splenic rupture often occurs during car accidents or sports injuries. Pain may radiate to the left shoulder, a phenomenon known as Kia sign due to diaphragm irritation. In rare cases, splenic rupture may happen due to infections such as mononucleosis or malignancies, particularly after minimal trauma. Spin rupture is more common in the younger population. The pain is sudden and can cause symptoms like dizziness, low blood pressure, hypotension, increased heart rate, tachycardia, and even hemorrhagic shock in severe cases. Computed tomography scan and ultrasound are used for diagnosis. Treatment includes intravenous fluids and blood transfusions. For minor ruptures, observation and close monitoring may be sufficient in stable patients. In cases of major ruptures or unstable patients, splenectomy aim of all of the spleen or splenic repair is necessary. Subdiaphragmatic abscesses are rare causes of upper left quadrant pain, but they are possible. They most commonly occur as complications after surgery. Symptoms include upper left quadrant pain with fever and signs of systemic infection, especially in patients who have recently had abdominal surgery or trauma. The preferred diagnostic method is a contrast-enhanced computer tomography scan and ultrasound. Kidney problems may sometimes cause left upper abdominal pain, but, but typically present as flank pain. Conditions such as kidney stones or pyronephritis occasionally result in pain that extends to the left upper abdomen. However, this is rare. Flank pain, felt on the side of the body just below the ribs, closer to the back, is more common. This is because the kidneys are positioned toward the back and lower rib cage, so pain is more likely to radiate to the flank or lower abdomen rather than the upper abdomen. 